Hello, Steph. Hi. How are you? Good. See you. Good to see you. Welcome to CERN. Yeah, thank you. Could we uh, have an interview? Sure, why not? Okay. I have to think of a place. I think we can probably do it in here. All okay. right. So let's go off together and we'll see how we get on. Okay. All right. I actually went to a technical school to begin with, uh, okay, before going to university, and I did the sciences, but I also did things like engineering, laying bricks, woodwork. Um, but then I moved to the sort of high school, and then I really started to specialize, and I took physics, chemistry, mathematics, okay, and that was really the starting point, because from there, I then went to university to study physics, okay, and I then took uh, further uh, studies in particle physics, which was really the starting point. Behind us is the experiment that Carla Rubier used with the help of technology from a Dutch physicist, Simon van der Meer. Okay. They actually put technology together to look for a theoretical prediction that carriers of the weak force the intermediate vector bosons, the W plus minus, and the Z. And in 1983, using this experiment in the SPS tunnel, they created the W plus minus and the Z zero. In 1983, they got the Nobel Prize for that piece of work. And finally, of course, you probably all know this, the Nobel Physics for this year, okay, 213, has gone to Professor Higgs, and Francois Engelbert, who put forward theoretical ideas back in the 60s as to the mechanism that gives particles, subatomic sub particles, their mass. They got the Nobel Prize for that in collaboration with, of course, CERN, that provided the proof using the two large experiments of CERN, ATLAS and CMS. Well, you may think that, but it certainly isn't. And it's been like that for a number of years. We already had some uh, young ladies, uh, women, in some quite high positions, even in the experiments. And quite often they were putting the, uh, the, the males in that places. So yes, CERN is very much open uh, to uh, women. For me, it's, it's the actual physics of looking for the unknown. Understanding what we're made of, where we've come from. It is a completely international laboratory. When you have a coffee, you might have six different languages being spoken. <laughs> if you go to a lecture, the slides might be in French and the person will speak English. Because we have two uh, formal languages, uh, at CERN, French and English, okay, and meetings or, uh, or, or seminars can be given in, in either a complete mixture. So it's the whole atmosphere uh, of this international environment, plus the fact what we are doing, trying to understand basically what is nature. Oh, Mark, thank you for all the questions. Okay. Possible questions. Okay, Steph, you're very welcome. Okay, I hope you're going to enjoy your visit.